All right, it's chip of the day. This will be a fun one. Uh, this is an S558-5999-46. Dash F. <laughs> yes, indeed. Look at that. S55. Yeah, it's a long, long, long name. By the Bell Corp. Sorry, not on camera. By the Bell Corporation. Pretty cool, huh? Bell. Uh, and uh, so it is a little bit strange, a little bit different. It looks like a, a Gullwing uh, SMD package. Okay. These are the gold wings. They come down and they come back. The PC board sits here, and you get a little fillet of solder under there. Very nice. Um, and uh, what's inside, though? What kind of chip is this? Well, it's a transformer of sorts. It's got a whole bunch of funny wires in it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's got uh, some center tap transformers, and it also has some common mode chokes. And it's got funny, funny wiring. Yeah. Uh, so we have on uh, on this side, we have a center tap. Looks pretty normal. On this side, we have a center tap, but the outsides go through a common mode choke. And then we have a kind of a duplicate thing over on this side. And this is used for um, uh, T-Base 10 uh, Ethernet type transmission lines and stuff. And so they are um, uh, transformerly coupled. Uh, one of the reasons you want to do that is the same as like an XLR audio thing is that you have a uh, a uh, sort of a loop going through with the push push pull. And if there's a push pull and you have common mode uh, common mode noise, it doesn't care. The differences between the signals will be the same, and it's a, a, a way to get rid of common mode noise. And also the chokes will help that as well. Uh, so yeah, it says here it's good to 2 megahertz, 10 megahertz, 30 megahertz, uh, 80 megahertz, yeah. Uh, kind of a funny little part. Uh, and this is this is what they look like. Nice little, nice little Nice little part here. Uh, so before we turn it on, let's take it apart. All right, here's one that I took the, uh, what's the, the vice of knowledge? Is that what the other YouTuber says? <laughs> I don't remember. Um, yeah, so it's uh, been opened up with a chisel and hammer and uh, inside, I'll, I'll show you some closer photographs here. Inside are a bunch of little coils, and then it's all just kind of gooped over with some silicone. And then it's uh, you kind of put in some plastic epoxy package. And uh, so, yeah, a little PC board with a bunch of chokes and transformers in it. So that's what's inside. No, no active components. <clears throat> Okay, I've connected one over here, and I've connected uh, the input on pins uh, one and two, and the output on pins seven and eight. So I think it's a one-to-one -one transformer, so whatever goes in probably comes out. And there is some filtering and stuff, of course. But that's all hooked up, so let's take a look at what we got here. <clears throat> all right, so this is our uh, input signal. Um, inputting a square wave here. Let's uh, go out a little bit further. Yeah, putting uh, in, inputting a square wave. A little bit of ringing here on the edges, but looks fine. And uh, that's on channel one. Let's look at channel two, which is the output. And look at that. They lay right on top of one another. All right. This is the uh, this is the channel two. You can see that it's exactly the same. So yeah, uh, channel one, channel two. And it's preserving the edges and stuff, so yeah, it's a fast part. Um, let's take a look at our uh, wave generator. I don't like the way they do this, but anyway, it's one megahertz right now. Uh, let's change this to 10 megahertz. 10 megahertz looks the same. We're starting to get rounding off of the uh, because of the uh, chokes in there and stuff, but basically input still equals output. Um, so yeah, no problem at all there. Let's go back a little bit slower. I like that better. 
let's see. Let's do two megahertz. There you go, two megahertz looks looks fine and dandy. Okay, uh, this is not the part that we have, but I I just wanted a schematic to show you sort of what uh, a uh, Ethernet connection looks like. So uh, here's the uh, receiver and transmit chip. Here's TXD and RXD, and they're uh, they're kind of a push pull. They're open collector push pull. They have a pull up pull-up resistors. So each each line is being pulled up to 3.3 and then it'll be open open drain that'll whack it on and off. And then the center conductor of the center haps will be tied to plus three. So we can get these real sharp edges, wacka wacka wacka. And then uh, that gets uh, isolated. So this this is kind of a uh, isolation to make sure there's no DC or or anything can uh, harm having having these cables go off onto never 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 land. You want to protect your instrument, and so you have this nice transformer here. And then uh, that goes off to your cablings and stuff. And uh, anyway. There you go. That's that's sort of typical. Now these transformers are a little bit more simple than the one we've got, but you get the idea of how uh, how Ethernet works. Okay, well that was the chip of the day, an S five five eight dash a five nine 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 dash four six dash F.